Why aren't the homeless entitled to the same things that we have? There are so many levels of wealth as there are levels of poverty, and people don't get that. We just have to have more compassion. My name is Shirley Raines, and I'm an advocate for the broken and homeless on Skid Row. Beauty to the Streets is a nonprofit organization, and we just go out there and take care of the homeless. I can't get them off the streets, but I can certainly give them what they need. I am there targeting Walmart shopping every Saturday. Give me a list of what I'm supposed to bring. I'm getting the peach cobbler ready for tomorrow for Father's Day. We're gonna make about five of these because five will stretch out really good. You don't wanna make them too thick. And we're gonna have vanilla ice cream as well for them to go with it. And there we go. So we do pan by pan. A friend suggested I go with him one day to feed the homeless. And when I went out, the women were like, oh, we love your hair, we love your makeup. So one day I said, do you want these things? They're like, yeah, we would love them. So I came home and cashed in like 4,000 points from Sephora, got a lot of sample mascaras, took all my extra makeup that I never used, and I took it out there and I thought, this feels good. This was something that therapy couldn't do. This is something that all these books I have in my apartment trying to read these spiritual books and how to overcome. The best thing to do is not focus on yourself. And I realized, you know what? I relate to these people so much, but I made it. That could have been me, but I made it. I was in my 20s when I broke. I lost the son when he was three. And I feel like that was the changing point in my life. I thought I'd never be the same. I'd already had such a hard life growing up in the streets of Compton, you know, and I found some kind of normality. I was a mom, and then all of a sudden my son is taken from me. And like 11 years after that, his father lost his battle with cancer. And I just lived life, but I was just a walking zombie. But what do you do with your pain? Best way to help yourself is to help somebody else. We'll fill up about four of these. If I had more bags, I'd fill up more because we definitely use more. What do we have to eat today? Fried chicken, mashed potatoes, root beer floats, orange floats, corn, rolls. Yeah, but long way. We're not changing their whole circumstances, but we're giving them one hour, one hour off from all the negativity. And that's life changing. That impacts the spirit. That gives them self confidence. Right here. Oh, thank you, my girl. So, what, let me know what you need. Oh, look at that hair. Come on, here. That's nice. I like that. That was good hair texture for short hair. Thank you. It was the superficial, small things that made me look in the mirror and not see the woman who buried a child. So, putting on eyeshadow, putting on eyebrows, putting on eyelashes, you know, doing my hair, and I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh gosh, I look so bold. People are like, that's not going to stop them from being homeless. Absolutely won't. But it gives them a reason to look in the mirror and see something other than their circumstances, if even just for five or ten minutes. I don't believe that dress up has to stop just because you become an adult. It's a great way to escape the streets. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my God, do you love it? I just feel uh, I can walk with my head one inch taller <laughs> just with this clean cut. And for all those who couldn't say thank you, thank you. It's the human touch aspect as well. Look at all my biker friends I brought today. Hey, just move around, y'all. That's for you guys, okay? Without human touch, the spirit dies. And if the spirit dies, the soul dies. There's someone out here, Kara. No matter who you are, what you are, keep your head up. Keep your head up and be yourself. Come out of that snake. Come out and get some air and be happy. Dance with us. Enjoy with us. Don't be scared of us. To be a better ally for the homeless, I think you have to learn your community. Go out there and be their friend. Take a sandwich, take a bottle of water, you know, ask their name. I don't ask stories. I know no background. Oh, you got the lime greens on now. You about to be stunned. My hope for the future is that we just stop the judgment and everybody just helps someone. It's just really simple to me. You don't have to have money to have compassion. People always say, I wish I could help the homeless. You can. Stop judging them. That's free. It doesn't cost you anything.